update on my Bentley GT3 dream build. We're watching the video right now. We got Garrett back in the vlog, fresh out of prison. <laughs> Look at it. Look at it. Oh my God. Oh my God. We are building this car. We're doing it. It is happening. I have budget approval from the CEO of Daily Driven Exotics. And that's the vision right there. In fact, I actually love that livery. So it might look just like that. So the question to solve in today's video is how do we build it? Meaning what car do we use? Do we buy a wrecked car from Copart? There's currently five available or we buy a clean car. So in this video, we're going to go Bentley shopping. Plus, I don't know where this is going, but I got a phone call from one of those executives in the Bentley video I did in Monterey. He wants to chat. He says, I think we can help now. I don't know what that means. I've already sourced the body kit. And in fact, Bentley doesn't make the body kit. M Sport does. So maybe we'll get him on the phone today. He actually lives here in Orange County. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, we're going Bentley shopping. Garrett! Let's go buy a car! Yeah, do we start with a wrecked car or buy a clean one? Like, it's not really daily driven exotics unless you buy a really nice car and chop it up. It is ballsy. Now, what we need to find is the best interior. Remember, we're doing a rebody. We're gonna literally, am I gonna reach? Ooh. We're gonna take off the body from a stock Bentley GT. Remember, these cars are right now about 200,000 US dollars. We're gonna cut the body off, not in bolts. Cut the body off and rebody it. So the color does not matter whatsoever. All it matters is what's on the inside. So in the meantime, we're gonna get in the car, go to Eurocar. They have three Bentleys right now, apparently. Trying to negotiate. Will they in house finance a car that we cut up? Because if they won't, we gotta pay cash for it, which adds to the budget. Do you guys make anything easy? No, and Damon's not even here. Well, then that means we need to go. <laughs> hey guys, there's still some inventory of some brand new products, including this beautiful tan hoodie. In fact, it actually might be sold, I don't remember. Yeah, this is our complete inventory. Here's Shop DD, all your orders come from this spot right here. <laughs> Grab some merch. If you want where to get it from, it's shopdd.com. Cool. Garrett, what car did you drive here? Lamborghini! Because it's all about Bentley today. I miss him. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Give him a hug, Garrett. Give him a hug. Give him a hug, Garrett. Uh, what is a whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Time to get a squadron Corsa back on the road, you guys. As you know, the engine's okay. We got lucky. I don't know why there was metal in that one filter, but there wasn't metal after, and the compression's good. So the squadron Corsa motor is good. This car is dialed in. I don't know what's left of this car. I need a rain light, small detail. Beyond that, I'm not quite sure. It's an old key, but I'm also old. In fact, my first time seeing an exotic car being a Lamborghini, like a modern one, was a Gallardo. It was a news story, it was something in Miami, a flood, and there was a green Gallardo driving through the water, and I was like, what the fudge is that? My dad's like, stop swearing. I said, you're not my real dad. Leave. It was actually the postman. It wasn't supposed to be in the house. Let's right go! All right, boys, time for some Bentley shopping. Nothing beats shopping for a new car that you're gonna cut up into pieces. I am so excited, dog. This thing is gonna be sick. Jokes aside, I've never been this excited for a build because I've never done anything this extreme before. Like, we're gonna destroy a $200,000 work of art to create my own version of art. So is it art inception? I'm not sure. This build has been something behind the scenes. It's been, what, 18 months? The Squadra was the first project. Check it off the list. Bucket car he wanted to keep forever. But Bentley? Like, that's Dave's brand to the core. For him to make a race car out of his luxury car and this vision that he's been talking about year to year for almost two years. Yeah, friend to friend, I'm pumped. I'm super pumped. But I mean, dude, it's a $300,000 car. And you're gonna cut it up? I, I don't know, I don't know, Dave's crazy. Hey! Jerry, you love luxury cars. I love luxury. When you bought a race car or a luxury car, how'd that make you feel? I was just talking about that vision. I think if anybody's gonna pull it off, it's you. Pull it out. Pull it off, Dave, not out. My pull out game is not strong. I have five boys. Have arrived. Euro car. Oh man, I can't wait. You said there's three of them? There's three of them. Two of them. Oh, oh, two of them are drop tops. Next drop. Two of them are what? Two of them are drop tops. Oh my goodness. Drop tops? Oh damn, this thing's even steeper. Dude. Yep. Good, turn around. Good luck. Turn around. Are you doing alright, man? I'm not I'm a little nervous. I guess I'm a rookie. How long have you been driving this car? Mm, two years. Garrett. Yeah. Look at Dave, he's struggling too. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
I noticed something though on the Squadra Corsa, and I don't think I did it. I think it was my best friend slash business partner. Through the fence. Ooh. Dang. Ah, it's okay, right? No, it's because race car. Yeah. You can't have that kid on a streetcar and go, oh, I scratched it. Oh my inventory. They have everything here. I watched in a recent vlog that Damon did shopping for his hypercar and they were here and I saw it and I was like, I had no idea this place even existed. I mean, I knew of this place. I didn't know the scale of it. So I heard they have three Bentleys here and what's important is we get the right interior or we build a Phantom. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it is beautiful, but horribly impractical from a driving around like just because it's so long. And I had a Mulsanne, which is not this long. This is 20 feet long. That's longer than a Mulsanne, for sure. Dude, look at how tall I am. And it's like literally goes up to the top of my head. Yeah, but if short. you were just just rich with a driver, that's the car. I ever won the Powerball lottery or worked really hard, preferably win the lottery and inherit some money. I would get a driver in this car I never drive ever again. Not on the street and have a track car. I like your vision of the ballot. We gotta stay on track. We're, stay stay on, on, track. Track. We're stay on stay track. track. Stay on track. Stay on track. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Go. Find it. Point us to it. I wanna build this. Okay. To do that, I need one of those. Okay. Which one has the best interior? Because we're gonna take off all those beautiful panels, we're gonna just peel okay. them back. <laughs> <laughs> the audience is really patient because these videos, nothing's happened yet, but now we're doing this. Like I got approval to buy the kit from M Sport. So we have the kit. I have to go to Germany and confront the con artist to try to scam me on a kit. So I'm gonna bring my back up with me. He's already been to prison. So yeah. I'm to go back. Been to Germany. <laughs> and then we're gonna watch the kit be built by M Sport. But in the meantime, I want to secure the car because without the car, obviously, what's the point? How's the market on these right now? They're holding about what price? They're point? holding. Um, 200s? Uh, close to 250, 300. Yeah. Well, look. Chop it up to $300. Another car, Dave. Hold on. Yeah. This one, actually, this one's 220. Oh, it has to be a V8. No, that's just one. <laughs> That's the race was a V8. This, and the reason why, just so you guys are aware, yeah. it's the hood. So they make all that active cooling work, that's for the V8, it won't fit the W12. We'll save us some money though. Yeah, this is a 20, only 8,000 miles, 219. $219,000. That's the wrong interior, I can't do red. Over here. Is that a V8? It's a V8. That's actually quite nice. The problem is, if I want to do a wrap, I have to always work with red. So I want to have a neutral interior. You know the Molliner one they had for the Bentayga where it's like white in the front, black in the rear? Yeah. Something cool like that. That's cool, but it's the wrong car. That really cool stitching, the diamond stitching on this one. They've already got the Alcantara and the leather. That's awesome. You have to admit, Bentley makes the best interior. I love Rolls Royce styling, but the interior wise, it's Bentley. And I learned that when I had my Mulsanne and I sold it for the Wraith. The Wraith was cool on the outside. I think it was more badass in some ways, less old man car. But the interior was lackluster compared to Bentley. So Bentley, you have my respect for that and that alone. Just joking. Garrett, what are your thoughts? What's up, dude? I would yeah, like I, like I was saying before. I would like, never find myself in a Bentley dealership. But after I'm looking at the product, I'm I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed. You drive one of these things. A bitch drive. It does not feel Even like a five thousand pound car. Yeah, Even we borrowed one from Drive LA, and I was driving. I was like, this is not like the Wraith. Definitely is disconnected and luxury only. This is the perfect cross between luxury and performance. How are the brakes? Though? I mean, with that, oh much dude, amazing. don't even talk about it. Go look at the brakes. Because it's so funny. Because right. I'm always so stuck on like you have to have carbon ceramics right. and these. Thing. Look at that. Hey, it's just because the hey, Garrett, pad hey, Garrett, and the rotor is so big. Look at the oh. size of the caliper, Garrett. Oh, get closer. Oh. Car brakes, brakes don't get closer. Better. This is the size of my arm, and I wear a size 12 and a half. Shoe. Let's talk about this for a second. A carbon brake doesn't make it stop faster, it helps with heat. Race cars use steel brakes for a reason, right? Carbon's cool, it's a flex, but this thing, Mark and I drove it. I was shocked how it performed. It's like one of my favorite cars. It's really responsive. Well, with the carbon brakes, you don't get the dust on the, on That's the, the wheels, it keeps the cars clean. You do a carbon brake conversion on it, and they Ooh. last longer maintenance wise. I know we have at least 10, 12 of the car you're looking for, and I'm down to three. Well, the question we have is, do we buy a, a, a smashed up one? Because we're taking the body off. So one got hit in the corner and lost the corner. I mean, we all know how expensive these parts are. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm just gonna take them off. So maybe I buy a smashed up one. The downside is we can't finance it. It's cash only. And the smashed ones go for big money. Like 175, I saw one go for, for a rebuild. Really? Yeah. Because right now, uh, I have friends in Sacramento that rebuild cars, and they, they did a Bentley recently. And like the headlight replacement, there's nothing on the used market. So you're going to Bentley for a headlight, for a taillight, and it's like $20,000 for a taillight and these big numbers. Yeah. The search continues, you guys. It's all about the interior. Oh, I'll have one for you probably within a week. Thank you. Appreciate it. You're welcome. All right, let's speak up on here. Hey, it's Dave. Sorry I missed your call. 
Appreciate you reaching out. No worries at all. Hey, I, I think I can help get the car you're looking for. Oh, we are actually just car shopping today. I might not have to look any farther. Um, are you in Cali? I'm in, uh, our shop's in Huntington Beach. Are you here? Uh, I'm visiting, I'm in town on, on vacation right now. Um, if you're free, let's look at All right, if you send me an address, we can drive up there right now and meet you. Um, I can send a car. Don't, you don't have to worry about traffic, I'll make it easy. Okay, I'll text you my address. Thanks, man. Uh, All right. All right, bye. So, this is crazy. So if you guys remember the vlog I did in Monterey at the luxury event, the two guys in the Bentley, they're both executives. One of them reached out to Trevor, who owns the event, to get a hold of me. I guess they watched a video, and either they got hate or they felt bad. They want to get involved in the project. At what level, I don't know. It sounds like he might help me get a car. Challenge with that is that if I get a discount on a new one, it's still not as cheap as buying a used one, so it might not make sense. But I want to hear them out. So we might have to come out and meet them. Those three cars there have the wrong interior, so that's not going to work. There is our car service waiting to pick us up. And oh, Tim's back. I bought a surprise, by the way. I forgot about that, actually. Well, we gotta reveal that in a second. I got it for Damon. He wants to learn how to be a better race car driver, so I bought him a simulator. What? Yeah, it's in the back of the truck. I bought this off Facebook Marketplace. Ready? You know what this is? Dude. The Fast and the Furious arcade game with like the seat and the shifter and everything. This isn't what I thought you meant when you said you got a sim. Memories of playing this on BC Ferries. You got the shifter. The Fast and the Furious. That is sick. Dude, this is gonna be cool. You remember you could create an account and put your number in here. I've never done that. And apparently it still operates on coins. I hope we got the keys. Anyways, this is a huge network to deal with. No! Yes, dude. Yeah. yeah. So I know the shifter's not working right now and the speakers have to get reconnected because it's not working. Where did you find this? Facebook Marketplace. No way. Oh, by the way, we're going to meet with the executive from Bentley. He sent the car to come pick us up. I was just wondering, like, what is this, dude? Do we have, like, an award ceremony to go to? Oh, I don't know. We'll find out. Maybe it's an ambush. Maybe they're mad about the videos and they're going to cut my arms off. Hey, you got it. <laughs> I did get it. It was heavy. Okay, just back us into the garage and come with us. We have a meeting with the Bentley executive and they sent the car to come pick us up. Hello, sir. How are you? Hello. Welcome. What are the odds that he lets us film this conversation and has realized? Do you know where we're going? Is it the Marina del Rey? What's the location, did they say? The location is just a spot on a pier. That's the address? That's the address. Oh man, this is like a 90s casino movie. Yeah, you're about to go to <laughs> the yeah, modern version of a water. desert. Because they put on these shoes, they're made out of concrete. Put them on, it'd be funny. We need to get Tim a wetsuit. Tim's wearing a wetsuit just, right now. I'll just get naked. This feels like a rich person area. I see boats, oh, I see high rises, I see, well, that building. Well, yeah, it's heyday maybe. So my aunt's up here in Marina Del Rey, she's an executive at Paramount. Really? Uh, Give us a movie deal, man. So when all the people show up to Paramount on set for various, you know, shows or whatever. Ah, uh, she works in craft services. She, I got it. I, it's what she does, actually. So yeah. she'll get the room together. So Britney Spears is like, I want this and this and this and this done. So what's Britney Spears doing at Paramount right now? <laughs> she on their she, block list? Oh, um, no, they have a new knife thing that they're coming out with cutlery. Yeah, so. It's nice. Yeah. Bro, this is gorgeous. California is awesome. No offense to the rest of the country, but California, like, the vibes, it's October right now and it's warm out. This guy doesn't have a hoodie on, he's wearing a t-shirt. A non-DD t-shirt at that. It's my nervous energy because I don't want to die. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Where are we? We are at Marina Del Rey, which is cool because there's boats on this side. That's sick. I feel like we should have grabbed our sweaters. You're the only one wearing a sweater. Come on, dude. It's not too late to go to shop, do you not call me on grab yourself a hoodie. Oh, you're with him? Or I thought you were the Uber driver. <laughs> Um, the family driver. Oh, I thought he was an Uber driver the entire time. <laughs> so, are we going on a boat right now? Is that where the doors open? Yeah, that's where we're going. I'll, I'll, I'll use the way. I don't want to get shot over here. Please, come on in. Is that this one? No, that's uh, the big one over there. That one? It is that one, right in front of us. The other one? Gary, what are you doing back there? Oh, this Why feels it? weird, man. I'm just, I'm laying low. Are we getting kidnapped? You look like the Wolf of Wall Street on this thing. Take off your shoes and meet me in the office. Kim! Dude, what's going on? Bro, what are we doing here? Hey guys, come on in. Come sit down. How's he, boys? This is cool. All right. A little private yacht action. I'm not gonna lie, it feels a little tense in here. What are we doing in here? Are you okay if we film this? Are, we, are you okay if we film it? No problem. Yeah. I have a proposition. Uh, oh, I've heard that before. Yeah. Right, yeah. right, Tim. What the hell is that? Uh, hey! Just can't the hey. detailer. Oh. Clean the boat. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, it's, it's the pat down that has me a little bit on edge right now. Is that your security guy? We've been with us for years, too. <laughs> okay. 
Everybody's been on them for years, that good retention. <laughs> I know it's awkward with the camera, but without further ado, let's talk business. We have a 2014 press card that we're not using, we're not gonna be able to use, and uh, I wanna see if it could benefit you guys. Issue with 2014 is I wanna build the Gen 2. I'll show you an example here, I've been carrying it everywhere. That's what I wanna build. Uh, same one that you had, but not a convertible. I don't think you can do that with that one, right? Not with a Gen 1. Yeah. What, what, what do you want for it? We wanted to go, go to a good home. We think DD would be a good place for that car to present Bentley. And how, much was, you, how much do you want for it? As long as you make Bentley look good, the car the car's yours. I just I wanted to go to a good home. But how much? Nothing. I wanted to want a car. It's a very generous offer. I need you to make this name look good, DD. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> <Son of> <laughs> The only um, thing is, it can't be registered. It's an it's a off-highway vehicle. It's a press car, and it's never been registered, and it can't. Oh, it's a press car yeah. Yeah. from 14. Yeah. Okay. It's been sitting for a little bit. Couple things. Number one, I really appreciate that. Like that's a huge, generous offer. The issue I have, and to be really honest with you, is to make you guys look good, I have to build my dream car. I can't do it with that car. So I can't take a car from you guys and then not deliver on what you guys are looking for as far as like that branding. I need to build this actual car, which is a 2020 or up. The other part of the problem with the conversation is it has to be street driven. So the whole idea is I take an actual factory, like Malmer edition, gorgeous interior car, and I put this kit on it and drive it on the streets to get to events. Which makes Bentley look good. To do that, the car has to be registered, but I need a new car. But I really appreciate the offer. Yeah, I can't help with that. I was no. not expecting that. I thought honestly it'd be like a discount or like you give me a car for a year. Yeah, we can't sell it. So it's are gonna you, get, it's gonna get destroyed anyway. Are so. you an executive at Bentley? Uh, I'm not. Uh, my family's worked closely with Bentley for generations, so. <laughs> Can we get a tour of the boat real quick while we're here? Yeah. Let's okay, cool. For it. Let's give a little tour. Like, sorry for the mess. We have some people detailing it right now. Marina Del Rey. That's the Ritz Carlton. So this is an 85 foot yacht. How old is it? 23 years old. Oh, so, wow. It's an Asmut, Italian. That's Italian. Hey, hey. hey. What's down here? Um, Can I open it? Yeah, it might, it might just open. It's a couple batteries. Do you feel safe in there? Yeah, it's all the stuff to control that. Do you have bedrooms and stuff? Uh, it's six bedrooms. Can Tim have a nap real quick? <laughs> hey, a puppy. Hi, puppy. Holy sh! Look at that. It's a seal. Dude, he wants his belly rubs. You want to give him a belly rub, Mark? You got it, dude. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> Mark, could you rub, run, run in there and pet him? I feel like they're faster than I think it's oh, going to be. Oh, he's moving. Whoa, that's nuts. Very wealthy. So he's not a Bentley executive. But his family has something to do with Bentley, and they have a press car. Some of their investors. Dude, he just offered you a race car. You offered me a street car to convert to a race car. But nothing's free, so I'm sure there's something more to it. Right. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! That was a little frightening. <laughs> this lady's mad at you right now. Go talk to her. What happened? She's oh, mad at you. Yes. Bite it. Bite the sea lion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was a little frightening. Insane. <laughs> Chuck got some balls on him, or he's just really drunk. I like this life. Look at this little secret passageway. Dude, a kitchen. What? Never seen one of those before. <laughs> so. It's got a microwave and everything. <laughs> Dope. This is cool. Definitely. It's a vibe, for sure. It's a vibe. How many bedrooms did you say there were? There we go. Uh, it's six bedrooms, four uh, four VIP rooms, two crew quarters. And there we go. Charts, navigation, sonar, full screen. And we're ready to take this baby out. Do you want to drive this thing or do you have someone that does it for you? We have someone that does it for us. But uh, I would like to uh, log a few more hours and uh, it will do it myself. Right now, uh, I'm not there yet. Okay, bedroom tour. Oh, it's where we rock the boat. <laughs> 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 this is sketch. Oh my gosh. What? Mark, be careful. Oh, dude. Yeah. That's cool. This is the Bentley executive investor life right here. The bathroom. It's bigger than my bathroom at home. Bro. What is this? There's two of them. It's a bidet. It's a cleaner. They have them all over Europe. You need to tell them more, Mark. Dude, it has a walk-in closet. Oh, right? Look at this. Wait, there's a safe. What's in the safe? Every closet has a safe. What? That's legit. 
a little escape, <laughs> escape window. The, the ship's going down. Yeah, we got your room, buddy. Come on, little Tim. You have two bunk rooms on either side, and then full queen size beds on uh, end of the hallway. Tim, lie down on the bed and see if it fits you. Try the bed on. So is this a crew cabin? Uh, this is technically for the kids, or whoever wants to sleep in here. Do you have kids? I do not have kids. Oh, yeah, I got two big bedrooms. This reminds me when we flew Emirates to uh, Dubai. It was the same kind of. This is crazy. Though. Imagine how much it costs for all the wood in this thing. All Shadow, can I ask you a personal question? Irreplaceable mahogany, apparently. <laughs> That's all I wanted to ask you. How much was this boat brand new? Uh, 11.2 million, but we did not buy it brand new. So, in Damon's language, that is buying five centers, six centers, seven centers. Wow. Has this boat sailed anywhere crazy? Uh, it spent it's uh, the beginning of its life on the east coast, so it did all like the Bahamas, like all the islands around Florida. Has it been there. to Europe before? Uh, no. Well, it was no. built in Italy, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, but it came straight here. Yeah. How'd it get here? A uh, cargo ship. You they, didn't they, sail it? They put on cargo ships. What? Yeah, when you film, when you ship this boat from the east coast to west coast, it charged like, I heard 110 to like 140, 50 grand to ship a boat this size and they just put it on the back of a cargo ship. Why would they just, Go through the Panama Canal. Why would they just sail it? I don't know. That would cost a lot more, I feel like. If I move, but I didn't take it out. Yeah. Cops. Yeah. There's cops. Well, hey, thank you very much. I really appreciate the generous offer. It's actually huge, but I, I can't accept something I can deliver on. But it's really cool you got that hey, car. coming, honestly. You guys are welcome anytime. Anytime on the yachty? Anytime. I'm most of party soon. <laughs> Next time, let's get your Bentleys out for a drive. I'm sure you have the cool head. I'm on a boat! I'm on a boat! Oh, sorry, sorry. Keep going. Why just I stop? just wanted to do it stop? once. I just want to do it once. I just want to do it once. Put the blanket. It got cold. Okay, back to the HQ. The search for the ultimate Bentley to build continues. At least we got a yacht experience. That's true. I'm on a boat! Can you that song for That's the Bentley pose. Seen the boat, seen the boat. I'm on a boat! I'm on a boat! The driver is their driver. How are we getting back? Well, can we get a ride back? Of course. Okay, thank you. I'll get you a safe and sound back. Thank you, sir. I appreciate <laughs> it. How much staff does your family have? I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's go. All right, all right, all right. Before we go anywhere, we need to get this out to make sure it actually works. So, like, this thing is 20 years old. It's your age, Mark. Oh, that's pretty old. Now it's your age as a piece of plywood on a video game. Look at this. The build is pretty janky. By the way, I left the Bentley on the boat. No. My little Bentley? No. <laughs> yeah, Tim, not to bring us down. Okay. How'd you guys load this thing? Uh, one guy was in the middle. Oh, you like it like Whoa. that? <laughs> and then there was a jack under him. It's easier to get it down than to get it up. That's true. That piece is light though, isn't it, Timothy? That piece is light though, isn't it, Timothy? Oh, look at that seat. Oh, we need to replace the seat. I have just the seat for you. Yep. I do. We have two Ferrari 550 seats. We have F12 seats. Oh, we yeah, have F12 have seats. seats. We also have Squad Corsa no, no, seats. No, 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 no. We got <laughs> Squad Corsa seats, no. dude. No. Let's do They're it. mint. Let's do it, bro. Okay, bring it down, boys. Look at this, dude. Oh, that's so oh. sick. Look at the super, dude. So there's a speaker here and here that doesn't work. Well, but I don't know if that one doesn't work. Or, oh, wait, maybe. Well, well, when I went there, he wasn't, they weren't even plugged in. And that's why it wasn't working. Oh, that too. Because there's this wiring harness here that plugs into the unit here. So there could be an issue with some of this. Thing. It is so rudimentary. Okay, now you two get this one down real quick. Yeah, I'm sure. So sick. Are you impressed a little bit right now? I'm impressed. This is definitely a little nostalgic. Like being a kid going to an arcade growing up, like this was it. That's super on the side. Right. It was so sick. Okay. So and the fact that, that we know the people that have that super. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Is it that heavy? Yeah, it's pretty cool. This thing is so heavy. So we, we bought you something, and you have to wait till you're back to see it, but it's right behind you. And it's large and heavy. I'm not turning the camera. And it takes the entire back of the truck. Turn the camera. No way. Neither Dave or I can fire you. Only my guest of the boss can fire you. <laughs> Turn the camera. Worst Dude. case scenario, I get written up at work. I don't go. You're going to be so what, excited. What. Just show him that face or that face. Like, just show him a little bit. All right, you ready? Yeah. Vin Diesel and Paul Walker sitting in the Ferrari on the PCH. Talking to the guy in the Supra. Talking or no. Talk, they're, they're, they're in the two <laughs> Wow. I've had like two bottles of wine. This is what happens when you leave me alone. Bro. Can you guess what I bought you? I'm guessing you obviously bought some sort of a picture about Fast and the Furious. Okay, when I set up, I'll call you back. Just go away, I'll call you back in a minute. Go, geez, you're saying just go away? That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get on the we'll call him back. Boom, back, boss, let's go! I'm starting to yelling back. You guys love when I yell, show my hand and say, what's up guys? Do let, don't let it fall to the ground. 
Now lift. Now lift. Alright, lift? Yeah. Well, no, we gotta get No, no, you get it out further. Wait, what? Alright, Daddy, here we go. Alright. Seriously, be careful, please. Alright, we need to actually be careful now. Uh, no, more, 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 more. Walk it out. Walk it out, walk it out, walk it out, so it's less of an arch come down. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, that's oh. enough. That's far enough. That's far enough. What are you? Oh my God. Gentle, 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 gentle. gentle. Yes. Contact. Okay, bring the top down. Is that heavy? Yeah. It's so dope, though. It's here. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what, dude? What in the world? What? <coughs> this is so crazy. Now I gotta get the keys for the coins. All right, Mark. Hit it. Hit it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. 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 oh, oh, you open that. Must be a switch. Hmm. It, it was, was on, right? I heard it. The fan Did you open it when he was it already open? When he it was already it? open. I just, I, I had it open already. Oh, oh, the plug came out. That's what it was. What? That was unplugged. <laughs> now, hold on, does the screen work? Does it have to warm up? Hey! Dude, this is so old school. Yeah. Let's get it running. Uh, uh, Initializing hardware, Fast and Furious. One credit to start. Do you want credit in for me? I got you. Now we know that this doesn't work, and the, the volume doesn't work. This is so cool. I'll just see that. Oh, and I have the spoiler. Oh, Just move dude. the steering wheel. So we have a gaming sim now here for practicing. We'll be good in a second. And for her, I remember this. Dude, dude double throttle, double throttle, double throttle, double throttle, lift the front. Yeah! Oh, come on. I got, I'm not chill breaking. Dude, I'm not chill breaking. I'm not chill breaking. Oh. Double throttle, double throttle. Time. Yeah! Do that. Do the double the whole time. You'll beat everybody. Seriously. It's a mini NOS. I just double throttled the whole time. There you go, get yeah. over there. Yeah! <laughs> front flip over the car, there you go. There you, now you're in here. See, there it is. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh there we go, there we go, there we go. I'm left with brakes like I told them to do. Scrub the brakes. Scrub the brakes. Oh, I don't like, like that. <laughs> what is the reason? Oh, oh, you're changing oh. songs. Well, that's too bad. That's unfortunate. I just raced back here in high school. Special breaking! Oh, oh. You whoa! Oh, oh, you're still whoa. Oh, the, the seat oh, kicked. Face time, Damon. All right, Damon, can you guess what it is that I got? Pirates of the Caribbean. Mark, flip the camera. Oh, sh! The Fast and the Fierce arcade game. No! <laughs> yes! No! Yep. Oh my gosh, my guess is gonna lose. <laughs> we now have a racing sim for learning how to track drive. Yep, that's Show him. Yep. Get on, Mark. I want to see play someone play the game. It's like, why is that car doing a? <laughs> what? Have you not played this game before? No. The, the green start button, Mark. <sighs> Why would say LA Ghetto? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> LA Ghetto, that's hilarious. <laughs> Thank you, you Otto. So Just pick a car, what Jesus. What are you gonna drive? Are you gonna drive that R34 GTR? He's making With the blower. He's making questionable choices. The steering wheel's really sticky. Here we go. Mark's losing. Oh my gosh, this is the coolest thing ever. Oh, <laughs> 